You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation, this is Rob. This video, we're going to talk some Avengers Age of Ultron, and uh, we're going to discuss Yahoo, those lucky bastards, got a nice little glimpse of Age of Ultron before anyone else, at least as far as I know. Now, before I get started, it's been five days since I've done a video. I've actually uploaded some this morning that I did late last night, but uh, it's been a hectic week. It's been a hectic week. I think finally next week I'll be getting back to my normal schedule, which means you'll be seeing a lot more videos, but let's see. Let's wait and see. But anyway, so off to Age of Ultron here. So apparently they're describing it as, uh, it's pretty much part of the scene that was shown at the Comic-Con where the Avengers are all hanging out in Avenger Tower, which is formerly a Stark Tower, and um, basically, Thor is challenging his, his uh, colleagues to pick up Mjolnir. I think that's how you pronounce it right. I hope, I hope it is. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll uh, call it Meow Meow like that chip from Thor. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, no one can pick it up. Uh, I think I heard that uh, when Captain America makes his attempt, it starts to shake a little bit. So, But anyway, so but after that, Ultron makes his way into the tower... And uh, they released a basically a quote as to what his lines were, um, and uh, I gotta t I gotta say it was uh, it was pretty cool from what I read. So here it is right here. In the scene described, uh, it's a damaged, limping early version of the robot, uh, more zombie than robot, and and he says, "You're all killers. You want to protect the world, but you don't want change." He goes on to say, there's only one path to peace, your extinction. So it sounds like this guy's got a vendetta. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's been, it, this movie so far has been described by, you know, uh, people on the, on the uh, team, on the production team, uh, that's going to be a lot darker than the Avengers. And uh, I think that's going to be a good thing. I, I don't want it to lose its charm 100%, but I do understand that when you try to go down a darker path, you gotta sacrifice some of the charm, some of the comedy. So, uh, but hopefully they don't completely just, you know, abandon it, and uh, we get a little bit of both. But it should be interesting. You know, the Avengers are gonna have a lot, there, a lot on their plate. I, they're gonna have to deal with Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch before they become teams. I think that's a sure thing. Uh, I'm sure the Vision is going to be a pain in their side as well. Obviously, Ultron looks like he's going to be a mega force to be reckoned with. It's going to be an exciting film. I'm, I'm really getting amped up for it. I'm so glad that uh, it's going to be coming out next year. Um, I think it's going to be an improvement over the first Avengers. Not that the first Avengers was bad. It wasn't. It was a fun movie. But I think you're going to get a better story here. I think the, the compelling thing about the first Avengers is that you got to see some great superheroes all on the screen at the same time. Something that has nev never been done before on the silver screen with these characters. And that... that novelty is what made it a success but the story really isn't that great it's okay but it's not that great the humor is pretty good loki obviously being uh the tom hiddleston i mean his villainy is excellent so and i'm excited to see james i love villains so i'm excited to see james spader uh head the ultron character he's a fantastic actor he's been around for many many years and i think that he's definitely going to own that character and if you've ever seen any of his work, try and watch the, the work he does where he plays a villain. He's just so good at it. <laughs> it's so good at it. I never like him as a good guy. Never. I've seen him... I, the, the one movie I can remember watching him in where he's a good guy was this movie called The Watcher, uh, starring him and Keanu Reeves and, um, and also Marissa Tomei. And he plays a good guy there, and it's just not that great. But when I see him play a, a bad guy, like in Wolf, even in the in the old school 80 movies, when he's, uh, what's that damn movie with Molly Ringwald? It's, it's a it's little, uh, little pink. Uh, Pretty in Pink, something like that. Well, he's in this movie, and he plays, like, a rich, condescending uh, asshole. And even there, he does such a great job. So, uh, he's good He's good for villainy. He's definitely, that's, that's his thing, in my opinion. 
But yeah, so uh, more power to Yahoo, man, that they, they got to see something. There's also this concept art picture, and I don't know if this is con this is something they're going to implement. I'll pull it up. A lot of you guys probably seen it because they showed it at Comic-Con. Comic-Con weekend, I was nowhere to be seen. I was at work. But I'll pull it up anyway. This picture right here, you can see it looks like uh, Ultron. Maybe in one, It says here in one of his earliest forms. Uh, not sure if that's something we're going to see in the movie or if it's something that they just kind of made and decided not to go with and then they just wanted to display it but uh, it would be interesting if he um if that's you know part of the movie hopefully it is that's a pretty cool concept but for those of you who haven't seen it there it is for those of you who have nothing new but uh so what do you think does this ultron sound like evil like crazy insane uh we still have a lot to hear this you know we still have a trailer at some point probably next year uh hopefully the end of this year and um, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be a darker, more story-filled Avengers movie? Or do you think at the end of the day we're just going to get uh, a little bit of what we got, uh, or excuse me, a lot of what we got the last time around with uh, maybe some minor changes? Anyway, guys, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page.